Oh, hi. We didn't see you there. We're Courage My Love at Riot Fest, and you're watching Ambi. Ambi. <laughs> Woo! Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Courage My Love. How are you? Hey, we're pretty good. good. <laughs> Stoked to be playing Riot Fest. <laughs> You're now currently touring North America, so how have these shows been treating you so far? You know, it's really fun to be in another country, and uh, at the same time, that also makes you appreciate Canada more when you come back, so this is perfect timing. We're halfway through the tour, we get to come back to our Canadian fans play like a nice big show, have a lot of fun, so it's good all around. Has there been a favorite city on the tour so far that you've just had the most fun in? I mean, we all love California, like yeah. there's no getting around that. We all love California. San Diego. Yeah, so San Diego is probably our favorite so far, yeah. Nice. Well, when you have down some downtime on a tour, because I know you're probably continuously driving from place to place, playing your shows, packing up, and then on to the next, right? Yeah. So we actually have some downtime. What do you guys like to do? Well, we brought our N64 on this tour, so <laughs> lots of Mario Kart, and we attempted Burial Kart, but none of us are like beasts enough for that, so I don't know. <laughs> we've been writing a lot too for the new album, so uh, after the show tomorrow in Montreal, we've got a couple days off, we're going to go to a studio and just jam and write, hang awesome. out, so it'll be fun. Cool. Well, in the past, I know you've actually opened for bands like Hawthorne Heights and Fozzy, who we yeah. recently interviewed. They're awesome. No way. That's yeah, cool. yeah. So just as far as bands that you'd love to team up with and hit the road with, who are some that you could name to our readers? Wow. There's way too many. I mean, we all, wow. We all love Brand New, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. We all love Jimmy Eat World, just bands like that. I don't know. Those are my two, I'd say. I, would, I mean, I would love to tour with them, is what I'm saying. Yeah. We haven't yet. I'm not trying to put that rumor out there. I'm just saying we would love to. Hint, if, hint. To hint, those watching. Hint, if you watch, if you watch this, take us on tour. Well, being that we're at Riot Fez, I know some crazy shows have been happening so far. Uh, even some sets have had to be postponed because of the crazy downpour that we had. So Riot Fest, the name itself, uh, what's one of the crazier things to happen at a Courage My Love show? Uh, well, someone got proposed to at one of our shows, really? actually, one time. And yeah. were you aware of it? Was it worked in, or did it just happen? Yeah, it was one of my family friends. Okay, they kind of nice. set it up. I tried to put this banner up, and, like, there was nowhere to hang it, so I had to climb this ladder, and it was, like, <laughs> 20 feet in the air. And I had to do it about three times because it kept falling down, and it didn't work anyways, so, I, so we got people to, like, hold it up. And, she uh, said yes. That's all that matters. She said yes. She said yes. That's the main event. Yeah. It was pretty sick. Awesome. Yeah. And then you had released your latest record, Becoming, earlier this year. I know you mentioned you're in the studio yeah. making stuff happen. So how long have you been working on the new album for? Man, I feel like we've been working on this album for like two years already. So it's it's been a long time coming. We recorded half of it in New Jersey with my favorite producer of all time, David Bendit. And we're going to finish it in November, hopefully. So uh, hopefully we'll have some new music out for you guys you know, maybe in the first quarter of 2016, probably around May or something like that. Well, past releases have featured some really gorgeous harmonies from the two of you. Yeah. Do you plan on kind of taking that onto the new album? Oh yeah, you really? know what? Um, <laughs> we're all stepping up to the plate a little bit more. Phoenix is really doing a lot more vocals than she normally did in our older <laughs> stuff, which is great. Lockwood is starting to do some vocals as well. We're all kind of, a, it's like a team effort. Uh, working with David has been great because he doesn't edit vocals or guitars or anything like that. So if you don't get it right, it's not right on the album. So it's uh, been a real challenge trying to... I feel like I'm in a like hockey interview or something. <laughs> yeah. like, the team came together, we're doing our best. We're making it happen out there. Uh, you know, it's like if you don't get it right, then it's not going to be right on the album. So it's been a challenge trying to... Uh, just become better musicians in general, but I think it's paying off. It sounds a lot, you know, like a big step up from the last thing we released. So awesome. I'm really excited for that. And you're both, as you mentioned, going more into vocals. So how's that? How's that been for you? Is it kind of easy taking that on, or? I mean, I, yeah. Like we, I don't know. We just like it's exciting for us because it's something we've never really done before. So it's a challenge, but um, yeah, like I'm excited to see how it turns out and what people think for awesome. sure. Yeah. That's great. Well, I know you have a pretty busy schedule today. <laughs> so just to wrap everything up, for all of your fans who are going to be watching at home, is there anything you'd like to say to them? Uh, Lockwood, you can take this one. We love you! <laughs> <laughs> I think on that note, we can wrap everything up. So just a massive thank you for your time today. We thank really you. appreciate it. It was lovely catching up with you. And thank Same. you. Same, yeah. And remember, everyone can visit us at amusicvlogout.com for all sorts of interviews, features, and much more with your favorite bands. See you next time.